So uh, Craig belongs to a group called Ram. We all support him because we are more. We want to stand together to to um, stand up against the tyranny of government and all the regulations. We are. I'm a business person, so from a business point of view, all the regulations are destroying my business. As a business entity, I've lost customers. I've seen customers close their businesses. They've been around for 30 years, and some of them are closing. Recently, I read on the internet, big company, a big transport company went down. And I was really disturbed about that thinking that, and I saw the, the trucks sitting there day after day and they just didn't have any business and the government is destroying our businesses with the lockdowns. So what, what, what measure will the government take to protect people in, in the fact they're going to destroy our businesses in the process? So I don't see any point of carrying on the lockdowns. So I'm here as a business person to say to people who have got down businesses to stand up with us and say no, we don't want any more lockdowns. We want to go back to, we don't want to levels. We want to remove the levels and get businesses back. Yeah. And we, don't want to, we want to stop the fear. The fear mongers out there trying to create fear in our society because they've got nothing else. They're in a pleasurable position. They've got their jobs, they've got money, they've got investments. A lot of people that are out there are working from day to day, living on the bread line, and I'm here for those people because I'm one of them. Yeah. Even though I come from the suburbs, I'm in a position where things have changed in South Africa. Last year, I've had, to, I've had to close the business up and work from home. Yeah. So I'm in the exact same position, position as them. I'm working from home on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Craig, I, I respect him because he also believes in the same thing. We believe that going forward in South Africa is not about pushing and suppressing people. It's about growing our economy. So that's why I'm here today. I want to tell everybody out there who got your own businesses to come out to the beach to support us. Yeah. That's just one aspect, never mind the fact that as a human being, my rights have been incriminated on. Constitutional rights have been changed. They've, they've, they haven't accepted the fact that everyone has rights and the government has made these regulations without even, I would say, taking regard for the average person in this country. They sit in a beautiful position where they get enough, the salaries every single month. We're not. Yeah. And our fact of the matter is a right. We have a right to go walk on the beach. We have a right to go in a public place. We have a right to freedom of speech. Absolutely. That's why I'm standing here today. I believe in those constitutional rights. And I think Craig is, is exactly like me. We are people that are, we don't want to go down this road anymore. We want to stand up for people of this country and say, no, we have rights. Let's do it together. We want to form, we are more together. Yeah. Because United so, we stand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we stand here. That's why we come to the beach. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here to make a clear point. Our rights have been compromised by the government and by people that are elected. Our rights have been compromised by the health organization. They won't even let us use medicine that has been proven around the world to work. And I just think that's ridiculous that these vaccinations have been poured out and people have been in a fear mongering situation where they're going to take the vaccinations without the knowledge that there are other medications we can use.